Hello, my name is Tia Mitchell and I'm the Washington correspondent for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Today, I've been writing about U.S. Senator David Perdue, who recently filed new financial disclosures about his stock transactions. Now, Senator Perdue has not received the same level of scrutiny or criticism that his counterpart, U.S. Senator Kelly Leffler, has faced. However, there have been questions raised about how active Senator Perdue has been in the stock market, even as the Senate has dealt with the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. For example, there have been criticisms about some of the decisions that Senator Perdue has made, such as he bought stock in Netflix, he bought stock in DuPont, which is a company that makes the protective personal equipment that people wear to make sure they don't get exposed to the virus. But then there are other stocks that don't seem to be so clearly tied to him trying to, you know, use inside information. So he and his um, advisors point to the fact that he also has invested in Urban Outfitters, which is a retail store. And he sold off a bunch of stock in Kroger, even though that's a grocery store that's doing really well. So, of course, these senators have been accused of using insider information. Um, and Senator Perdue and all the senators have denied any wrongdoing and said that is not the case. But another thing we've been looking at for Senator Perdue is just the level of transactions. He's been doing a lot of trading in the stock market, which I talked to an expert today. That's to be expected when the market is really volatile. People are doing a lot of buying and selling. But again, that is leading to criticism that Senator Perdue is, you know, trading in the stock market, hoping to find a deal and make a profit off of the pandemic, as some of his critics have, have said. That's what today's report is about. I would love to get your feedback. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter at Tia Reports. I'm also on Twitter at, at AJC on Washington. And you can email me at tia.mitchell at ajc.com. Again, I'm the AJC's Washington correspondent, Tia Mitchell.